Hi guys, I'm Sherry and welcome to the Eyes Have It. I woke up with the beginnings of a cold this morning, so I thought I better get this filmed because who knows what I might sound like by this time tomorrow. So my nature box came and for once I was very happy about how it turned out. It was exactly what I wanted. And I had put two chocolate things in there thinking, well, I pro they probably won't give me one because it seems to go that way. But uh, actually, I got both of them. And I'm super excited because it is dark cocoa almond season again. For those of you who don't know, the dark cocoa almonds are my favorite NatureBox snack of all time. And they stopped shipping them around April or May and then they start back shipping them in November because they have a coating on them that I guess can melt. So anyhow, let's roll. Let's start with those dark cocoa almonds. Okay. Oh man, my ear hurts. My throat hurts. Bleh. Okay. So dark cocoa almonds are just whole almonds that have a, a, a cocoa, I won't say a chocolate coating, but a cocoa chocolate-like coating. And uh, there it is up close. Excuse my dog hawking up a hairball in the background. Uh, they are really delicious. As I've said before, if you don't like dark chocolate, these are not your thing. These are not like M&M almonds. They are dark chocolate and therefore you know they're they're just not sugary mm -mm. and if you watched my nature box video last month you may recall that I had hoped to get the chocolate version of the animal crackers and they they didn't put it in there it's like they were brand new and I'm sure they were very popular but I got them this this time they are whole wheat chocolate animal cookies or animal crackers as I call them and they they look just like the the vanilla ones but they are uh, chocolate instead so this is I believe a horsey so let's taste him A mm, couple things I will say about them in in contrast with the vanilla. One. They have they don't have a vanilla taste with chocolate over top of it. They just have a chocolate taste, so you don't get that hit of vanilla like you do with the vanilla ones. These I it looks to me are smaller on the whole. Each cracker cookie is smaller on the whole than the vanilla ones, which are really large for animal crackers. And these are, the vanilla ones are more, I would say, it, tender is a word when it comes to cookies, uh, more tender. And these are a little stiffer, a little harder. But they're not hard to chew or anything. They're just a little thinner and a little, I don't know, crispier, harder texture. All right, so you have to offset the sweet with the salty, right? So they haven't come up with many salty, new salty snacks that I love. So I went and ordered one that I've had before and love. And this is the Asiago and Cheddar Cheese Crisps. Um, they're very, very cheesy. And I think, I haven't had these in a, quite a while. But I think what I've said before about these is if you don't like sharp cheese taste, you may not like these. Let me give them a try now that I've got all this sweet in my teeth. Probably not getting a super accurate taste test there because of the fact that I just ate two sugary products. But yeah, I don't I don't taste the cheddar at this particular moment as much as I taste the Asiago. And while I love Asiago, it is a sharpish cheese so like I said if you 
If you're an American cheese person, you may not like these, but if you like cheddar or Asiago, I think you'd like them. Salty Crunchy is kind of my sweet spot, my happy place for a savory snack. Okay, time to go back through with the nutritional facts. It's funny, I'm the one that changed the order from five bags to three bags, but for the last two Nature Boxes, when, since I've made the change, I get like sad when I open the box and there's only three bags there, but I, otherwise I'm really happy with the three bags. I think that's just right for me. And when there's stuff that's like really, really good, like dark co cocoa almonds will be gone way before the month is over. And uh, the uh, animal cracker, the chocolate animal crackers will be too. I, I don't think I've ever finished a bag of these because the flavor is, is very, it's very intense. Um, so those I don't go through as fast. Okay. Asiago and cheddar cheese crisps. Serving size is 10 pieces. And that's a big serving size for something so bold in flavor. Uh, it's 130 calories, 5 grams of fat, 3 and a half of that are sap. No trans fat, very little cholesterol, 15 milligrams. 160 milligrams of sodium. 160 milligrams for something salty is not bad at all. Uh, dietary fiber is zero, sugar is zero, protein, 6 grams from all that cheese. Ingredients are enriched flour, cheddar and Asiago cheeses, unsalted butter, sugar, yeast, salt, cayenne pepper. There's that little kick. Antiox and antioxidants. Okay, on the chocolate animal crackers. Serving size is nine cookies. Very good serving size. Uh, calories are 120, not bad at all. Total fat is 4 grams, none of that is sat fat. No cholesterol, 130 milligrams of sodium. So a, a cookie, a sweet cookie, has more sodium in it than the savory salty treat. Dietary fiber is 4 grams, sugar is 4 grams, that's still pretty low. And diet, I'm sorry protein is three. My mind is starting to fog and my battery is running out so I'm trying to talk fast. Dark cocoa almonds. Serving size is a quarter cup. Calories 160. Total fat 12. Remember these are nuts. Sat fat is only three and a half of the 12. Very good. No trans fat. No cholesterol. Zero milligrams of sodium. No salt. 2 grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, 4 grams of protein. This is Thursday that I'm filming this. The, what, 12th? Alright, that is it for right now. I probably won't post this for a couple of days because I just, this minute before I filmed this, posted the Guilty Pleasures tag video. There goes my nose. I can't breathe out of my nose now. <laughs> All right, the dog is whining in the other room. She's such a drama queen. All right, take care, see you next time, bye.